Oh, and Crash, let's go. Back in June, I had some masked fun with my buddy Crash Bandicoot announcing Crash 4, It's About Time. With the game coming yep. in October, Crash, of course, had to come back for opening night live. So let's bring him out, everybody. Crash Bandicoot. He's here? What? He's where? <laughs> with a mask on. Yo, you got to love it. You got to love it. You got to love it. He's at the wrong place. He's in Germany. Crash apparently didn't get the memo about Gamescom, but to tell us more about what we just saw, I'm joined by Lou Studdert from Toys for Bob. Uh, Lou, w what did we see there with uh, Crash and the Gamescom bot? The Gamescom <laughs> bot. <laughs> uh, apparently you saw him wandering around Cologne, but uh, what he was hinting at was kind of our reveal of what we call flashback tapes, which are a brand new style of level that we are announcing here today. Okay. okay, so uh, how do Let's go. flashback levels kind of play into the flashback overall crash levels. narrative? Yeah, so the way that the, the flashback tape levels work is that they are kind of a peak back in time to the 90s when Neocortex was actually what? testing on Crash and Coco before the events of Crash Bandicoot 1. And they're oh, kind of these devious wow. puzzle rooms that we've made, uh, and they're really hard and they're really awesome and they're Flashback super creative tapes. and we can't wait to uh, get people's hands on them yeah no I, I i got to play a demo of this a few weeks ago and that was a challenge so i can't imagine um how <laughs> nefarious these are um how are they going to be sort of integrated into the game are they are they optional like offshoot stuff or how do you how do you get to them Sure. So players actually have to collect the flashback tapes in the levels themselves. Uh, they're an object that they can pick up. And to actually pick them up, they have to reach them in the level without dying. It's uh, kind of Whoa, our homage okay. to the death routes from okay. the original trilogy. So players have to reach these objects in the level, pick them up. And then once they get them, they'll get access to these unique levels. So okay. beyond the pure challenge, uh, what other fun? How, how are these fun for players to kind of experience? And what do they get to do in them? Sure. So one of the things that we did was we actually used these as, like I said, puzzle rooms, really kind of fun, nefarious, devious ways for Crash to really express that pure platforming kind of uh, aspect of gameplay that we know and love about the franchise. But then narratively for us, it was really cool to layer in kind of a unique perspective to the franchise. This is the moment when Cortex is really excited about the prospect of Crash being on his team because Crash was originally created by Cortex, and so this is a weird <laughs> point in time that's never really been explored in the games before. Okay, awesome. All right. well, that's Crash cool. For it's about time. Looks phenomenal, Lou. Uh, we cannot wait to check it out uh, in October. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, yes. thanks for having me. That awesome. is dope. Right. Well, that is right dope, yo. This, for more this game is going to be insane. Crash is going to be insane, yo. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to. Join the family, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos, as well as hit the like button on this video so it can be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok, or whatever, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all of those. Again, Daddy Gamer Fred, you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my Twitter. Also, on all of my videos, I do answer all comments. So again, if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything, just hit me up in the comment section below. I take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and I love it. And again, let's have that conversation down there. Here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest. I am a variety channel. I do tons of stuff, tons of Pokemon, but tons of other stuff as well. So dive into these videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.